Okay. Welcome to B612 week three, I think this is. So uh, we're going to be using Arnold's uh, interface. Hopefully nice. nothing, nothing will break. Um, there is media in today's quiz. So that is the real thing I'm testing. If it breaks down, I will switch over to the regular uh, setup. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> I forgot to share audio, I'll do this again. There we go. Seat one is Rishi Seat two is SSD. Seat three is Shankar. And seat four is Sai. I imagine you have figured out the rules by now. Yeah. So start question first for Rishi Raj. Let's go. Identify the staple missing ingredient in this recipe of the Waldorf salad. One of the two cornerstones of making this. Bed of lettuce, green apples, celery, green grapes, mayonnaise, and blank. The missing ingredient is an edible seed that is also a staple of a baklava, the liquor nochino, and often added to a banana cake. Is it uh, sesame? Not sesame. SSD. I'll pass. Passes. Shankar. Is that a pose? Is that he's frozen? He's I frozen. Yeah, he uh, I think he's dead. Okay. Shankar, do you have an answer? Pass, pass, pass. Sorry, I froze. Screen yeah. froze for a moment. Sorry. Passes, side. Walnut. Walnut is right. Ah, oh. yes. Oh. Shanmuga, she should not be proud of you. <laughs> Edible seed, I. <laughs> Yeah. Question for Rishi. Large sheets of paper are passed through a printing roller, which uses techniques like flexography or roto gravel to impart designs onto the paper. These techniques techniques can also be used to add foil, gloss, and iridescent textured designs on the paper. What kind of paper, named for its purpose on special occasions, is this? Uh, are these greeting card paper? Not that, SD. Special occasions. Say, uh, I'll multiple guess. Pass. Passes, Shanka. Pass. Passes, say. Non comp, I'll pass. Like celebration or is it wrapping wrapping paper? I think Sim paper, yeah. simple as that wrapping paper. Yes, hey, yeah. hey. Okay, I, I had that, but yeah, yeah I, 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 I felt a like bunch of you had that, but you all talked yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I think special occasions through it. Yeah, special occasions like kept yeah. thinking that. Question three for research. Identify the tech brand from its color palette. While the light green is the most prominent color associated with the brand because of its logo, the slightly infamous blue has been the cause of many heartbreaks and fights. Is it uh, Spotify? Not Spotify. Yes, it is. Was my yes pass. Passes, Shankar. Pass. Passes, sorry. Pass. Starbucks. Yes. It's not Starbucks. Yes. Uh, the reason it's been a cause of uh, hard break. I thought you Uno, Uno, maybe. It's some dating app. No, so the blue tells me that you've seen the message, but you're still not replying. Oh, WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Uh, Those are the greens of WhatsApp, and the blue is the tick. Yes. Oh God. Question for SSD now. Indian YouTuber Anshuman Sharma breaks down how one can compose their own versions of songs by popular artists. He has provided this recipe to recreate any song by which artist. Step one, choose a topic like heartbreak or love and get inspired by a weekend song. Step two, write Punjabi lyrics that are kind of translated from a weekend song. Use ChatGPT. Step three, make retro beats that sound like a weekend song. Step four, sing like you just woke up with a ton of autotune, of course. And step five, don't forget to make an aesthetic music video. I'm going to play this. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear the audio. Now put it all together and that's it. You're done. Oh, chud de darda saare Mere te chud de Anjwaan pula ja saare Kal sunu te aare Akhaan chukha jil tera Kaal kaal jil daaya pada 
तेरे प्यार का रंग भी एक काड़े काज लोगा ियंसिंगेरियन फिक्शनलर शंका This is the logo of the Indian organization or governing body for what? Hockey. Yes, this is Indian yeah. hockey. Hello. Question, Prashanka. Taylor Swift draws a lot of inspiration from famous literary work in penning her songs. In the first verse of New Romantic, she sings, "We show off our different blank blank. Trust me, mine is better." Referring to the title of which 1850 literary work in plural? In the song, Swift uses this comparison to talk about how she carries things that she is shamed for on her neck, like the novel's protagonist, but rises above it with gusto. Scarlet Letter. That is correct. Scarlet Letter. Nice. Nice. Ashanka, this word has multiple contextual meanings. We are most familiar with it as a unit of time, a certain number of years, but it is also used in mathematics as a unit for measuring ratios on a logarithmic scale. One blank represents a ratio of one to ten. Which word? Eon. Say again, please. Eon. Not eon. Research. You muted. Is it decade? It is a decade. Well done. Yeah. Question for side. The earthy brown shade from Sugar's matte crayon lipsticks is named Blank Woodhouse after a wealthy nineteenth-century nineteenth-century heroine of an eponymous novel who is often frivolous but caring and patient to her close ones. She has also seen multiple portrayals in media, including a twenty ten Bollywood film. Fill the blank. Emma. Emma is right. What's the Bollywood film? I think you know. Aisha. Aisha is right. Wow, I didn't expect you to know. Mm. Aisha is right. <laughs> Uh, after his retirement in 2004 this tennis pro decided to invest in real estate however according to him my investment sunk like the titanic things went bad from the start every time that i invested in croatia things went wrong the remedy senior exhibition matches and coaching a prominent men's player who are we talking about becker not becker is it uh, ivanisevic is yes, correct this is goran ivanisevic croatia Question for Sai. Winslow Homer is a 19th century American painter noted for his seascape paintings. This painting by Winslow Homer depicts a cat boat called the Gloucester, I think, chopping through the city's harbor under a blank blank, a useful accomplice to a sailor in steering the boat in the direction of the travel. Fill in the blanks to complete the title of this painting. Breezing up a blank. Now uh, this is two blanks again, so the same blanks as this one. Breezing up a blank blank. Okay, both the blanks are same. Monitor. Yeah, yeah. So the the yeah. to to clarify, the complete title of the painting is "Breezing Up a Blank Blank." Okay, I'll call it a wind sail. Not that. Sure. Ah, uh, 
Al pas. Pass. Pass. This is a tough thing to guess. Uh, wind is there. The second word is wind. This is uh, a fair wind. Fair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Round two question for Vishraj. In 1941, Yusuf Karsh had an opportunity to take Winston Churchill's photo in Canada, but the latter wasn't being cooperative. In a swift move, Karsh took away something from Churchill that resulted in him getting angry, the reason behind the leader's belligerent look in the iconic photograph. What item, commonly associated with Churchill, was removed from him in this photo? Uh, his cigar. It is his cigar, yes. And this is his reaction. <laughs> Question for Ishraj. This is the logo of the Indian governing body for what category of a sport? No prompting, so please be very specific with your answer. I'll say um, blind cricket. It is blind cricket. Well done. Yes. Question for Ishraj. This painting by Homer showcases a man in a rudderless fishing boat struggling in the currents of the blank blank, a phenomenon which originates off the coast of Mexico. It is inspired by his own experiences of navigating it during multiple trips to the Caribbean. Fill in the blanks, also the title of this painting. Uh, oh, time's out. I'll have to pass. West Zephyr. Not that. SSD. Pass. Pass is Shankar. Pass. Pass is Sai. Gulf Stream. Gulf Stream is a wonderful answer. Well done. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. Question of SSD. The Bible has many female characters by this given name. An ancient commentary on the Bible by someone known as Cyril of Jerusalem bundled all these characters into one, a theory much later espoused by Pope Gregory the Great. What is this name? Just a one word answer. One and two situation, right? <laughs> uh, say Mary. Mary is right. <laughs> Question for SSD. The Keeling curve pictured here was important in bringing attention to the looming threat of climate change in the 20th century. The curve showcases data on something from 1958 to present based on observations made at the Mauna Loa Observatory. This is measuring the mean concentration of which gas in parts per million. Say, uh... Ozone. Not ozone. Shankar? CO2. CO2 is acceptable. Well done. Oh, CO2. Right. Uh, SSD. Identify the staple missing ingredient in this recipe of tabule, a Middle Eastern salad that forms a part of a traditional mezzi. Finely chopped parsley, tomatoes, onion, mint, and soaked uncooked blank. This is a type of cracked wheat used as a rice replacement in cuisines of the Arab world. No, 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 pass, pass. Pass it, Kishraj? Uh, couscous. Not couscous, good guess, Shankar. Pa. Pass it, Sai. Bulgur. Bulgur or Bulgur is the right ah. answer. Ah, okay, nice. Shankar. <laughs> YouTuber Anjuman Sharma has provided this recipe to recreate any song by which artist? Step 1, decide how much you want to party. A lot or a lot, lot. Step 2, write about the girl that you want to party with. Step 3, play two chords of basic dhupchik dhupchik beat and, a, and brass inspired by DJ Snake. And step 4, sing like you want entry into a club, but you're also scared of your parents. And put it all together and that's it. You're done. Oh baby, my party Sabuko khilati hai, too much bhao khati hai, 
During manufacturing, rolls of paper get soaked with a resinous glue on one side. Then they're passed into a pit with electrostatic energy, where grit particles, usually aluminium oxide, silicon carbide, ceramic, etc., jump up due to static and get embedded into the resin. After baking, the paper is ready. Name the type of paper manufactured for commercial and sometimes for unsporting use. Sand paper. Sand paper is right. Question, <laughs> Which winner of six Grand Slam singles titles and more than $50 million in prize money was declared bankrupt in 2017, also serving jail time in 2022? His first autobiography, The Player, gave some indications into a troubled personal life, including a daughter conceived with a Russian woman at a London restaurant in 1999, while his then-wife Barbara was pregnant. McEnroe. Not McEnroe. SSD. This is. This is. I'll pass. 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 Sai. Pass. You want Borg? Sai, you want to try again? Borg. This is Borg, isn't it? Becker. This is Becker. This is Borg. Yeah. Question. Sai. Which 1984 movie was legendary director David Lean's last movie? This movie, based on a famous 1924 English novel, was shot mostly in and around Bangalore and Ramanagara, and not in Bihar, where the book is set. Temple of Doom? Not that. That's it. Uh, passage to India. Passage to India is right. Hmm. Question per se. Identify the beverage brand from its color palette. The red is for the five pointed shape, which represents the five ingredients of the beverage, while the green is com most commonly associated with the glass bottle, as well as the name in the logo. I will have to pass. I'll try Sprite. Not Sprite. Is that? Is the Heineken? Heineken is that. Question per side. When Yusuf Kush met Helen Keller for her portrait, he was reminded of his days learning English when he had read an essay by Helen called Three Days to See. In that essay, Helen talks about all the things that she would look at if she had sight, which included blank. Kush said to Helen, now that I have met you, I will think of you not in terms of blank, but blank. What opposite natural phenomenon did Kirsch mention that formed the basis of his photograph? You can give either part. The two six-letter words are the same. I'm going to restart your time. I just want to clarify that this is singular. These you, you uh, all these words are singular. So you want the six one or the seven? Um, either, either of them is, the uh, either seven, is fine. Right? I'm just clarifying that both these blanks are six and seven because they are used in singular form. That's... Okay. Uh, then I'll try sunset. That's correct. Nice. Question for Richard, This is round three. Which 1984 movie was legendary director Sergio Leone's last movie? Unlike most of his earlier movies, this nearly four-hour-long movie was not a Western, 
but instead employed gangster movie iconography. Its title may still remind you of an earlier western of his with the last bit changed. I will have to pass. No, this is too. I have uh, to guess that. I'll pass. Hold on. Uh, Rishi, you are muted. You want to guess now? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was guessing a fistful of dollars. It's not that. Right. SST? Pass. Pass it, Shankar. Once upon a time in America. It's correct. Do you know the Western? Mexico. Mexico. It was once upon a time in the West, I think. West, not... West, West. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Question for Rishraj. In the second verse of Don't Blame Me, Taylor Swift sings, I once was poison ivy, but now I'm your daisy. This is potentially an allusion to the love interest of the titular character in which 1925 novel. She also name drops the titular character in her song, This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things, saying she feels so blank for the whole year, picturized to a hedonistic party. Uh, great Gatsby. That's correct. This is Great Gatsby. Only the last two words. <laughs> yeah, the, the line doesn't make a lot of sense. The line is apparently, I feel so Gatsby for the whole year. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Daisy is the love interest. Yeah, Daisy is the love interest. Yeah. Question for Ishraj. What word that refers to a system used in certain forms of government derives its name from the Italian for little balls because small multicolored balls were used for this purpose in 16th century Venice. Today, the term refers to both the system as well as the device used to record the responses in the system that could be electronic, mechanical, or paper, depending on the country. The ballot. Ballot is right. Mm -hmm. Question by SSD. The alphabet in which language system is grouped into rows called decades. Each decade assigns six dot boxes in logical patterns to the letters. Decade 1 is A to J. Decade 2 is K to T, etc. The first decade uses only the upper four dots. The next one adds a single dot from the third row, and so on. Uh, see, uh, Mandarin? Not Mandarin. Okay. Braille? Braille is right. Six dots yeah. is from Braille. Yeah. Question for SSD. There has been a conflict at the organizational level in this sport in India with two separate governing bodies with the same name claiming to represent the sport. These are the logos of both with the names blurred. Which sport? Taekwondo. It is Taekwondo. I'm not sure what happened here. It's like blurred out and then India may N was added back or something. Oh. <laughs> nice. Question for SST. Which oxymoronically titled 1999 movie was legendary director Stanley Kubrick's last completed movie? The movie AI was still incomplete when he died. This movie, an examination of domesticity and its discontents, was based on an author Snitzler novel called Dream Story. This eyes, eyes wide shut. It is eyes wide shut. Mm -hmm. Question for Shankar. While capturing a photograph of the renowned cellist Pablo Casals in 1954, Yusuf Kash opted to showcase the loneliness of an artist at his peak after observing a long practice session. In order to do so, he portrayed Casals bent over the cello, bow in hand, immersed in his art, taking attention away from the individual to the art of practice itself. 
what unusual choice in portraiture did Karsh make to show this? This is obviously a descriptive answer that I need, but uh, but there are some variations that I can accept. Like captured from a far distance, not a close up. It's not that good. Yes, though, SSD. Uh, his face was not visible, like in portraits. Are he's correct? His ah, face no. was not visible, it's from the back. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. From the back. Question, Prashanka. In urban cities, a growing environmental problem is the relatively high temperature in comparison to its surrounding rural areas caused by the trapping of hot air thanks to its complex street layouts, land use, and massive, massive built environment. What two-word term is used to define such areas by climate scientists? Nah, cannot get the second word. Passes, right? I'll try non-com. Pass. Passes, Rishi. You're muted again. Passes. Pass. Pass. Yeah. Uh, uh, heat column. Not heat column, unfortunately. Heat it something. Is, I could not get the Gray answer. desert or something. So, so, so it's, it's, it, something. it's in comparison to surrounding areas. It's a heat island. Ah, island. Wow. He called him a decent guess, though. Mm. Question, Prashanka. The Priory of Sion proposed that this character's womb was the Holy Grail, and her child with Jesus connects the kings of France with the royal house of David. This is also a key plot point in Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. Which character? Mary Magdalene. Is correct. Mary Magdalene yeah. or Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Question per sec. YouTuber Anshuman Sharma has provided this recipe to recreate any song by which artist. Step one, write a romantic song with an Urdu word like Arzu or Tanhai or Ashi. Step two, create a melody inspired by sad Indian classical music. Step three, add contemporary dhupchik beats and a very fast tabla. And step four, <laughs> layer your vocals and sing your nose out. If nothing else, just the last line should be clue enough. Yeah. Put it all together and that's it. You're done. जब से मैंने तुझको देखा तब से ये दो है तनहा तनहाई 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 सही बात है ठीक है ये शुड बी नेक्स्ट में आ Question no, A decade referred to a period of 10 days in which calendar that was used between 90, 1793 and 1805. Decades would be used to mark out intervals during Brumaire, Pluvios, Germinal, and Mesdor, for example. There are two acceptable answers. Gregorian? Uh, not Gregorian. Vishaj? Julian. Uh, Julian. Yes, it is. Uh, I'll pass. Passes, Shankar. French? I can prompt you on French. Thermidor? Thermidor. Uh, not Thermidor. So it's, uh, this will be a little specific. It's, it's French Republican French or French Revolutionary Calendar. Yes. Mm. Yeah, those are the ah, periods. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice try. Question for side. Blank paper is usually made from a sulfite pulp that creates cellulose fibers. The paper is beaten to a degree of extreme fineness. Thus, hydrolysis helps remove air inside. So the light doesn't get diffused as it does in normal paper. This gives the paper the level of light permeability needed. Which type of paper? Useful to school kids, architects and engineers and named after its usage. Uh, 
Origami? Not origami. This one. This is a tracing paper. Tracing paper. Yeah. It's called. Ah, uh, see. Yes. Round four. Question for research. This reddish brown lip shade lipstick in Sugar's matte crayon lipstick series is named after the titular jet setting heroine of a 1997 crime film. Adapted from a novel by Elmo Leonard. The film came into controversy for its use of a racial slur that the director has often been accused of overusing in many of his other works. Which film or character? Uh, Jackie Brown. Yes, correct. This is Jackie Brown. Hmm. Question for Ishraj. The individual units in what object is divided into decades, with each decade representing a Hail Mary? This term is used not just for the object, but also the words it accompanies. Hail Mary. Is it the is it a rosary? That's right, this is the rosary bead well. Done. Oh, nice. lovely guess. Nice. nice. Question for Ishraj. Global blank is a term given to the climate situation where the amount of direct sunlight reaching Earth's surface has lessened due to the presence of atmospheric particles such as dust and aerosols. The complete ban on CFCs has reversed the trend since the late 1980s, thankfully, to some degree. Fill in the blanks with the term for this phenomenon where the amount of sunlight has been slowly reducing. Is it uh, dimming? Global dimming is right. That's three out of three. Nice. Okay, question for SSD. Rochella tinctoria is a lichen which, as its name suggests, has had color-related uses over the centuries. Which specific kind of paper is it used in making where the dye of the lichen is absorbed into filter paper? Its primary use is for scientific work. Uh, litmus? Litmus paper is right. Nice. Question for SST. Taylor Swift sings, Honey, I rose up from the dead. I do it all the time. In her single, Look What You Made Me Do. Mirroring a similar line from which 1965 poem from the collection Ariel by Sylvia Plath. The two-word alliterative title of the original poem is an allusion to Plath being saved from the dead by others, calling herself blank blank, a female version of a biblical character. Where in the song does this happen? <laughs> uh, Jane Savior, John Savior. It's a good guess, but not that side. Pass. 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 Lady Lazarus. Lady Lazarus. Is oh, Lazarus. Oh, nice. Good uh, one. Nice one. Question for SSD. Identify the tech giant from its color palette. While the gray is a new addition in place of the previous black for the company name in the logo, the other four are, are iconic and represent a product that this tech company has become synonymous with. Huh. Google. Not Google. Or alphabet. Sorry? Alphabet. Not that. Sorry? No, that was my guess. Pass. Passes. Vishraj? Uh, Windows. Uh, Microsoft. Microsoft, right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I said the front. No, I was going to prompt you anyway, so don't worry. Yeah. What was the gray one? I believe the new logo has a text in gray. Ah, okay, okay. Nice. Didn't know Terrible. That. Yeah, this. Oh, great. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Question for Shankar. Foregrounding human frailty in the face of the ocean's force. This painting by Winslow Homer depicts rescuers bringing two semi-conscious women who were caught up in and blank. That is the current below the surface and moving in a different direction from any surface current. 
Fill in the blank to complete the title of this work. Under wave. Not bad. Side. Pass. Passes. SSD. Pass. Discharge. Yeah, pass. So, did you would you have had an answer if I didn't put the eight here? Because I think Un undercurrent. Yeah, so undercurrent would have earned a prompt. Undercurrent, yeah. It, it is the right idea. Yeah, but that's the, not eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's of, why I did not say. The name of the work is is something that means the same as undercurrent. It's called an under two. Uh, yeah, some... under current was the guess. Yeah. Okay. okay some, under current turns up prompt. Then. Yeah. Okay. 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 Nice. Question for Shankar. Identify the food chain from its color palette. While the orange and pink represent the company name and the logo, the brown is what stands for its two most iconic iconic consumables, which is a constant go-to for a certain Ben. Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, this is Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Ben Affleck goes there. Oh, yeah. Benny. Oh, nice. Uh, question, question nice. Okay. Which 2007 movie was legendary director Sidney Lumet's last movie? The title of this heist gone wrong movie is a reference to an Irish proverb which says that the best time for your corpse to be buried is a blank, 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 blank. Till the devil knows that you are dead. Say again, please. Till the devil knows you are dead. I have to prompt you. You're giving me the first word you're giving me incorrectly. So could you correct that? Mm -hmm. Until the devil knows you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll take one more attempt, please. I I feel very bad marking you wrong. So please take one more. Attempt. I, I, <laughs> oh man, I, I feel kind of criminal if I yeah, I know, right? from this, but yeah. <laughs> please get it right. <laughs> Since the devil knows. wrong <laughs> I'll, I'll just add the word before to the start of what he said. Then could you say the whole Before the devil knows. Before the devil knows you're dead. It is correct. It is before yeah. the devil knows you're dead. I'm so sorry, Shankar. Yeah. <laughs> Two prompts, I think, is being there. Is a yeah. question for. Right? Uh, the high literacy rate in Japan is the reason behind its unique ballot system, where no symbol or option list is provided to candidates, unlike in most other nations. How does Japan expect the voters to record record their vote in the ballot? A method that has come under criticism for its for the ambiguity it causes and the manual labor required for counting. Write in the name. Yep, you have to write in the name of the candidate. Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift's song So It Goes is a direct application of the idiom that is used a whopping 106 times in which 1969 anti-war book. In the work, the phrase is used by the Pralphamadorians, usually when someone has died, evoking a sense of powerlessness. Two guesses I have. Pralphamadorians. Passes to SSD. Guns, germs, and steel. Okay. It's not that SSD. Uh, say, uh, mouse. Not mouse. Ishraj. I have two guesses. I hope I got the right one. Is it Sirens of Titan? Not that one. Not that. Catch twenty. Not catch twenty two. It's uh, uh, Slaughterhouse Five. It is Slaughterhouse Five. Uh, That's okay. the other guess. <laughs> oh God. Question for Sai. Who in the Bible, specifically in versions of the story in Matthew 26 and Mark 14, pours costly ointment on Jesus' head before prostrating herself at his feet? She is a key character in Pier Paolo Pasolini's The Gospel according to St. Matthew. Ruth. 
Ruth. Not Ruth, is it? Uh, forgotten pass. Passes, Vishraj. Pass. Passes, Shankar. Pass. Uh, see the film. What you can probably it? guess the first name. Mary. Yeah. Mary. Mary. It's Mary of Bethany. 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 We are in the final oh. round. Things are close enough that anybody can still win. Question first for Vishraj. Which multiple Grand Slam winner and Olympic medalist was sentenced to pay the Spanish tax authorities around 3.5 million euros in fine for evading tax payments between 1989 and 1993 when she was at the peak of her career? An impossible sum of money to pay, she said at the time. She was later charged for property fraud in 2015 and in 2018 for deliberately misleading the courts. Uh, Steffi Graf. That's Steffi Graf. Sorry. Pass. This is SST. Uh, uh, Vicario. Uh, Alex Sanchez Vicario. Yes, correct. Question, please, Judge. Uh, Jacopis de Warren, the Dominican author who wrote Golden Legend, describes the bride at which biblical event to be named Mary. The event was where Jesus performed his first public miracle by turning water into wine. The wedding at Kana. It's correct. It's the wedding at yeah. Kana. One wedding I know. <laughs> <laughs> Question for each touch. YouTuber Anjuman Sharma has provided this recipe to create which song by which artist? Oh, sorry. Any song by which artist? Pick one. Uh, uh, sorry. Step one. Uh, pick a relatable topic like heartbreak or proposals. Pick two. Pick a fancy. I'm saying pick two for some reason. Step two. Pick a fancy Urdu word like Zulfe or Rahe or Palke. Step three. Play simple tone tone chords. Pretend like you're about to cry and sing. And step four, play any acoustic instrument for the fields with acoustic drums too and no bass. Right. Now put it all together and that's it. You're done. Asu. Yes, Pratik Kohad. It is Pratik Kohad. Yeah, I was waiting for this question in the squad from the start. <laughs> it had to be it. It had to be part of the squad. Yeah. <laughs> question for yeah. Sudhi. In a punched card ballot system, a vote is recorded when a user punches a hole into the paper against the name of the candidate. These votes are only counted when fragments of paper fall out of the punched hole fully. A problem that played a part in George W. Bush's win in Florida over Al Gore in the 2000 presidential elections. What are these tiny fragments called whose singular form will remind you of a large landlocked country? I'll try Mongolia. Not Mongolia. Sorry. Pass. Pass is Shankar. Pass. This is Rishraj. It's a Chad. Yes, the hole is called a Chad. Let wow. Yes. Nice. Question for At the time of his death, Winslow Homer was working on an unfinished painting that shows three people on a boat navigating a particular section of the Saguenay River in Quebec, Canada. The painting titled Shooting the Blank, plural, Saguenay River, Refers to a river section that is known for its extreme velocity as a result of a steep gradient. Fill in the blank. Plural, right? Yes, plural. Uh, let's say rapids. Rapids, right. Nice. For SST, after retirement, which tennis player decided to enter the fashion industry by investing in the company with his name that went bankrupt by the end of the 1980s? In 2006, he was forced to put his five Wimbledon trophies up for auction, but his longtime rival convinced him not to go ahead with it. Finally, though, his fashion brand was bought for a large sum and his story had a happy ending.
this is Lacoste. Good guess, but not cost, right? That was my guess. Pass. Passive, Shanka? Pass. Passive, they start. Pass. It's not corners. So his longtime rival, the one who convinced him not to go ahead, is John McEnroe. John McEnroe. Ah, McEnroe figured. So uh, this is Nastasi. Nope. McEnroe, Wimbledon rival would be the other Paul, baby. Paul, Paul. Yes, Paul. Paul, Paul. 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 No, Paul. 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 Uh, okay, question for Shanka. Identify the staple missing ingredient in this recipe of a som tam, a Thai salad from the Isan region, and a national dish of Laos. Tomatoes, green beans, fish sauce, chilies, lime zest, and blank. It is used in other dishes of the region, such as the Filipino tenilo soup and buntil. Specifically, a green variety is used. Green pepper. Say again, please. Pepper. Green pepper. Not pepper. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, green tomatoes. Tomatillos okay. or whatever. Not that. That's it. I'll pass. Passes. Pass. 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 It's a very lemon, lemon it's grass. It's a fairly famous Thai dish, uh, Thai salad. It's called green papaya salad. Papaya. papaya. Oh. oh. Uh, no papaya scheme in green. Mm. Question for Shanka. This more painted pink shaded lipstick in Sugar's Matte Crayon Lipstick series is named after one of the five leads of a sitcom that ran for nine seasons telling the story of a father talking to his children. The character and her husband are often referred to as the central force and parents of the group having been together right since the series beginning. Which fictional character the first or last name will do? Barney. Not Barney. Sorry. Lily. Lily is right. Lily. Question for Shankar again. The Indonesian electoral system uses paper ballots where the voters indicate their choice of candidates by making a hole on the name and the photograph of the candidate. The system is a vestige of the sham elections held under Soharto, where votes for any other candidate in the ballot were invalidated by making another hole for a different candidate. What small and pointy common object, an unusual thing to carry to a vote, do Indonesians still use to make a hole on the ballot paper? Pin. Say again? Pin, 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 maybe. Not a pin, right? A screw? Not a screw, SSD. I'll say a nail. It's so weird that I can't give screw, but I have to give yeah. nail. So yeah, that's a that's an odd statement. I feel like I should have accepted yeah. screw, but uh, what to do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, last three questions. Uh, question first first, right? What two word term is used for any ecosystem that does the much required job of absorbing or blanking? More greenhouse gas than it emits, especially gases during, uh, containing a certain element. The reason for the huge rise in atmospheric green gas percentage is the imbalance between systems that are capable of doing this and systems that do the opposite, that is emitting more than it absorbs. Carbon sink. Carbon sink is right. Mm, nice. Yes. And I think that secures Rishiraj's win. Isn't it? Yeah. Question for right? uh, Which sports governing body in India has this logo? Oh. Uh, racing. Not racing. Racing federation. Yeah. Uh, squash. Squash is there. The squash racket yes. federation. Uh, 
Okay, click click that watch. code, no? Yeah, you, you need to put one foot in this well server. Yeah, mm. sorry. Okay, and this means SSD can still catch up with the research. Last question for side. Identify the staple missing ingredient in this recipe of lapet toke or toke. Um, a salad that is a national delicacy in Myanmar. Fried chickpeas, peanuts, toasted sesame, crushed dried shrimps, chilies, and blank. While globally consumed as a beverage by steeping in water, the Burmese consume a pickled variety of these as a dish. Tea. Tea is right. That nice. finishes our quiz. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah. Thanks for running. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for running. Thanks Very for reading, Arman. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for reading, Arman. Yeah. Thank you. See you. See you yes, later. Bye. Thank you, brother. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.